Oh, wow. Agents, I, I just made it. I can't believe it. Ah, whoo, here we are. It's Big Time Wednesday. What's going on? I'm Secret Agent Stash, if you didn't know. Just getting back from a top secret mission out in the field, heading outside of headquarters. We just got back from GDC, uh, the Game Developers Conference, right? And uh, we were there infiltrating, getting all of Web 2 secrets, getting all the tradi traditional gaming Sector secrets, man, compiling them and then all then using them against them to show them that crypto gaming is the future. And I think we did it pretty successfully. Um, so <laughs> glad to be back though. Glad to be back. I, I feel like it's been too long. It's been too long. How are you guys doing? Agents, how are you guys doing out there? Uh did I, what did I miss? What did I miss? Let me know. Let me know if somebody's like, oh man, you missed this, Dash. I can't believe you weren't here for this. Last week, something hot was going down. Something hot was coming down. So, you spin it so fast. I, I, like I said, man, I, I, I got my secret agent, my, my briefcase, my field case. I, you know, I, I, I got in here just in time for the show to start. It's crazy. 
impeccable timing, but I made it. We good. What's going on? Uh, we got a couple agents in chat. I see Agent Gen X. We got we got our our mod Lieutenant Jaxie in chat. Agent Jimmy, Agent Sin, Agent Fick. Also Agent the Devil Kid. What's going on, guys? Uh, you know, and I see Lord Misfit hanging out in chat too. Lord Misfit, when are you gonna come to be a, a legit agent? When you gonna you gotta come in and be a legit agent, man. I missed Avalon in my MMO video. That's a good point. You know, I did see some some uh, I did see some some footage from that. This looks all right. What do you guys? What do you think about Avalon Gold? Gold from Epidemic. What's your thoughts on Avalon? I, I haven't really dive in. I haven't dove into it really that much, so I don't really have a lot of good intel on that one. But a lot of great games that are being produced right now, and you know, we're at the the height. The height of that season, right? Where there's a bunch of new games coming in, a bunch of tokens being launched, a bunch of airdrops to farm. I mean, it is like overwhelming. All these projects that have been waiting the wings here for like the last two years, you know, th this is what everyone's been waiting for. They, they've, they've they been biding their time, uh, placating you with memes and spaces. Ugh. Just kidding. I love gameplay, but you know, spaces, memes, it's okay. And now this is it. This is what they've been waiting for. Now, you know, what I will say is that obviously today is Big Time Wednesday. So we're playing Big Time today. But there are a lot of other games out there that are super hot. Now, how do you guys feel about this? I would love to hear your opinion, agents. I know we got a couple in chat, so I'd really love to hear what you guys have to say on this. But how do you guys feel about a game like Big Time that's actually been out and very, very playable? Uh, very, you know, like all the, you know, some great multiplayer features. Obviously, we're not at release or anything, but just very playable. Uh, a pretty stable economy, right? Fairly stable economy here for uh, quite some time, right? They launched their token kind of ahead of this wave, right? So if you if you talk about like this kind of wave leading up and then, right? Right, we're, we're still kind of in the lead up, but they launched down here and like we're like right here, right? So like in that in that kind of wave of the bull, the bull run, they they kind of they kind of they kind of like at the ramp they they're like all right before we started ramping up they were here and they that's when they dropped their token. Do you feel like that gave big time a disadvantage here when it comes to the attention co economy right the attention on a game? Are they at a disadvantage against some of these other games? Obviously, big time's already gotten some pretty big awards over the last two years, right? Uh, game of the year in twenty twenty two, and then best RPG in twenty twenty three. But does that? But because they've launched kind of early, do you guys think that, that put them kind of at a disadvantage when it comes to attention? When we have all these other games that are are you know launching tokens now, and the attention is really coming back. We're seeing a lot of people come back, and there's no real talk of big time. Like big time is not on the timeline. That's what I will say. You know, I I, I not that I don't see them posting, but you don't see anybody like, oh man, did you guys see about the new big time epic? There's uh, like update. There's not like a lot of like frenzy around it. Uh, what do we need? Is, is, is it, is it an, an, the next big update? I think that's what it comes down to. Is, is it, it's that next big, big time, the big, big time update. <laughs> the large, the gigantic, the huge Matic big time update. Uh, some of those words don't exist, but that's okay. So I, I don't know, man. I think that maybe a big update, you know, we know it's on the horizon. We know it's looming, right? We're looking at things like PVP. We're looking at things like uh, hopefully some guild features, right? A, a, br a brand new town. Right now for an MMO, the landscape is fairly basic, right? The, the the loop in itself is not super in depth. We don't have a lot of like quests, right? That's one of the things I'm very disappointed about too. Is there's not a lot of quests going on, you know? So there's a lot of things I think coming to big time, but we just don't see a lot of that hype on the timeline for them. And I think the next big update will hopefully bring that. What is your guys' opinion on that? Dang, you have a druid already at level 308? Take nine months, huh? That's crazy. EVE Online is getting into Web3. You can sign up for the test play. Dang, that. well, that's some definitely big news that I did not see, uh, Agent Gen X. Where, where is the information on that? Make sure you post that in Agent's chat and tag me. Jimmy says, we need more portals and dungeons in the level 15 to 25 zone. 
Well, I mean, I think the thing about that is you just kind of hop servers if you can't find the right thing that you want, right? I think they have a, a decent amount of dungeons right now. But I think we just need a little bit more variety of quests in general versus just being all dungeon focused, right? Where you, you the loop is, okay, level up, go to dungeon, find one, either it's procedure not, get rewards, come back. Like there's no, like there's not a lot of storyline either. <laughs> Gold says, I think big time is dead. Avalon is the future. I don't know about that, man. Oh, let's go. Agent Dougal. What's up, Agent Dougal? Tasty Gamer, what's going on, man? I mean, yeah, as when you when you say oh it's it's a uh, when you say oh it's very hard for free to play players to grind. I mean, that's what it's like if you're only playing it to just try and grind rewards, then yeah, I would say. Like you do actually have to love playing the game. I think that's one of those things where it's like, yeah, if you're if you're not investing any money and you're just like I want to play for free, but I want to earn a million dollars. Well, in in what what in what freaking world is that actually possible? It's just never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Uh, but you know, I think that if you like playing the game and then there's the bonus of like, oh, well, just because I'm playing a game I like, there's an opportunity for me to make some cheddar, you know, then that's great. If you're going to grind the guy, the, the game anyways, isn't it awesome to be able to have some of those features? Like, okay, well, I was grinding the game and, uh, I found this NFT and I can sell it now versus I was grinding the game and I found this, this item. Well, I, I you know, what am I going to do now with it? It's not even for, for my class. I mean, not even like I understand you, Tasty. Like I, I've played for fucking for hours, and I have not ever found an NFT. Then there's somebody who plays for one hour, and they find an, an NFT. They, I've, I've heard people finding them in the the tutorial for, for craziness, craziness, right? It's just it's just kind of the RNG gods, luck, luck of the uh, the draw. Stella Fantasy rugged. Yeah, I saw that man. That's kind of sad because I think that they had something pretty interesting there. Like, I feel like they did a good job with the characters and the gameplay was not bad. They just needed to keep improving. But I think that they just kind of borked the economy at one point there. And that was that. Agent Lucas, what's going on? Avalon's not that grindy too. Bullshit, man. If you're a level 308 cleric, that's a grindy game. Look, any RPG is a grind. Like any long-term MMO type of game is a, is a grind. Yeah, you're right, Lord Misfit. Yeah, three NFTs in one dungeon. Yeah, it's it just it's super random, man. You know, um, like I said, some people play a little bit and they'll get some, and then some people play a long time and never get anything. But you know, once again. If you're only playing to try and get rewards, like, oh, man, the only reason I'm playing this crap game is to try and earn some money. Like, that's really the, the balance that, we're, that I think that we're trying to strike here is to be able to have a game that's fun that you would just play anyways, but then also maybe earn some rewards. And sure, there's people that will try and min-max that. Fine, that's great. But that shouldn't be the sole reason why you want to play a game. And I feel like that's kind of the case with Big Time too. Like I'm not, I, you know, I don't hold, own like hundreds and thousands of dollars of assets in Big Time. I don't. I have a very small pool of assets that I bought. Um, I try and, you know, kind of play with what I have. And then sometimes I have to jump in the marketplace and go look at some rentals, which is fine. If I want to do a little higher level play, or maybe I want to do a little bit higher level crafting, I can go jump in the marketplace and easily grab some of those things. We're actually going to do that today. I'm going to show you guys around the marketplace a little bit here first. Um, and just kind of look at what we, what's what we got going on. I want to look at the market because we don't do this a lot, right? So we talk about things about, and we, we jump in and play a lot. We're going to play today. We're also going to give away a rare small space NFT. So if you guys don't already have land in big time, this is your chance. Giving away one every dang Wednesday. So we're going to look at the marketplace here first, and we're going to jump in and play some big time, and we're going to give away, uh, we're going to give away one of those NFTs. I'm also going to do like some solo, some solo stuff today, just messing around. Like I, I didn't, I didn't get a crew together. I wanted to do something a little bit more low key today. But also show you guys kind of how I solo. And so you can kind of understand what that looks like versus what big time is pretty much focused on, which is which is group play, right? Party play. So, so just kind of switching it up a little bit today, Agents. Just kind of just, you know. <laughs> just kind of get our switch on, you know. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, if you play two to three hours, man, and you and you think you're gonna make some money, I mean, that's just that's just not it's just not gonna like I said, it's not meant to be like that. Agent Sin, what's going on? You th uh, Agent Sin says he doesn't think launching early was so much a bad thing because it shows the development over time and gains trust. However, they'll definitely need a big update to re regain interest. That's how I feel too. I don't think I, you know, I think that it really you, what we need to see is that next big update. It's been looming. They've talked about it, right? We've had some smaller patches with crafting stuff like that, um, and and some uh, small additions. But I'm talking about big stuff, man. We need guild functions. We need friends lists. We need you know a lot more quality of life improvements that are those things you expect from every MMO. So when I go and show off this game and we're playing it on TikTok, we're playing it on Twitter, we're playing it outside of the Web3 gaming eco chamber or echo chamber, I guess <laughs> eco chamber, the Web3 gaming ecosystem slash echo chamber then those people see them like oh yeah this is legit i could play this versus like oh man this looks this super early and basic and there's nothing you know there's a ton of shit missing yeah oh you don't get gear that helps you progress now actually that's a good point tasty i, I could see that um you know i i would say that the drops are very random right so if the drops were a little bit more geared towards your character i think that'd be nice right I think it'd be nice. Maybe just a slight, just a slight edge to whatever you're currently equipped as. I think that would be nice, right? So then you get, uh, so you do get some gear that's a little bit better, more, more, you know, that you can actually use. But at the same time, you know, they a lot of gear drops when you go in, into a dungeon. So that, like, if I go into a dungeon and I maybe get one new piece of armor that I can actually use, I'm actually happy. You know, one new piece. That's great. But yeah, I feel you on that, Tacey. I, I, I was misreading what you're saying. LFG, give me to space. You know, that's okay. Hey, you know, some people come here for giveaways and hang out, and then other people don't, and that's fine. You know, I'm not, I, I, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. But, you know, they are valued at, at a pretty good value. So, they are valued at pretty good value. All right, hey, let's go take a look at the marketplace here real quick. We're just going to jump in for just a few minutes. And if you guys have questions about the marketplace or strategies when it comes to the marketplace, let me know. And I'm going to kind of look for a couple of things here. Uh, that maybe we can we, we can rent here to make sure we can get in on some prestiges for uh, the next dungeon because that's that, that's kind of one of the issues that I have right is that I don't I, I don't have like a good set of of gear to go out and uh, to go out and and grind these prestige dungeons without having to rent stuff right that becomes the issue so let's go take a look at that. Yeah, character progression is definitely key, and I, I do feel like that it, it, it you know it can be a little bit slow, and I think a lot of that too comes down to like not enough solo gameplay. You always have to be in a party, and then the, and the parties are always trying to min max things, right? So with that case, like the pace is very fast because they want to blow through dungeons and smash everything real quick, and you know I think that's gonna be the big thing. Will there be gameplay? Yeah, we're gonna jump into the game here in just a little bit. I just want to touch on the marketplace and. And kind of talk about the state of where big time's at uh, when it, you know, in, in kind of conjunction with the rest of the market and the rest of the projects here. And then looking at that kind of update. So, yeah, we're going to jump into play. So, if you guys haven't jumped into the marketplace, uh, you know, fairly straightforward, but a couple things to note, right? Uh, there, it's always sorting A to Z, which is kind of weird. I, I wish it would default to like low to high. I don't know why like A to Z sorting would make any sense. But when we look at things to kind of complete a collection to have, uh, to have like some, uh, you know, like some, some, uh, some good variety, some good variety of items that will allow you to get into, um, that will allow you to get into a, a, a you know, a, some prestige portals, you know, picking up some of these uncommons isn't bad. Like they're pretty cheap, right? So you can get some of these uncommons for your character, or whatever, maybe, you know, whatever class you may be, and then picking up a title. You know, I don't think we're going to see any epics in this price range. Probably not until we get to the $50 range, maybe. Let me see. Let's see what the, the very first epic is. What level am I on? Nightcrows? Yeah, right. Like, I kept playing that, man. 
Look, dude, I, you know, the auto battle thing is just not my, I mean, like, I like auto battle, some auto battlers, but that, that that's like auto playing for you. It's not even an auto battler. It's just like set it and forget it. Um, I know a lot of people said that with Night Crows, it gets, you know, it gets less auto. Like you have to do things less auto. There's a first rare. Uh, it gets things, things are like less auto as you progress. But I don't know, man. There's just something about it that I wasn't like super uh, impressed by. So here we go. Here's like the first rare. So I said 50 bucks, but it's more like 17 bucks. So Battle Staff of Sir Bedivere, Warhammer of Sir uh, Saphir, which is not bad. But essentially what you want to do is you're looking for a variety of items, right? So you want to get a title, you uh, probably uncommon, and you want to start getting, you know, building up some of your weapons and then also armor pieces. But you also want to try and get different colors and different, uh, you know, like like texture of things, right? So like you'll see here, like, um, so right here, it, it, it'll give you the tags like, like, okay, so it's an origin, it's yellow and black, right? So because sometimes the procedure portals will be like, you need a yellow item. Which, like, really, this is one of the things that pisses me off the most about this. And, and out of everything that Big Time has done, like, they just made the requirements really crazy and ridiculous where they're trying to, like, force you to buy as many things in the store and craft as many things, which also means buying things in the store, to be able to get into all these dungeons consistently. So if you really want to play that high-level game, you do have to invest, right? You do have to invest quite a bit. Oh, uh, yeah, and that's a great thing. So, Wizzinx, uh, that, that's what I was uh, getting to here. So, whereas you can, uh, you can, you can like, look for all these items, items individually, right? Uh, you can also look for some packages. So, um, I don't know if we see a lot of packages here on the actual marketplace itself. But uh, we might, I think that you see more of those, like, in the actual rental market, which we're going to look at here in just a second, too. But that's why you can see, like, they have all the colors here. So, you know, you may need something that like, hey, you need items that are red. You may also need uh, early access items or pre-season or craftable items, right? So we could do something like, all right, here's some craftables. And so it'll say you need X amount of craftables uh, equipped. So you really, to, like, ha to really go prestige, you really have to have a good variety of things. So if you really want to maximize earnings, that's one of the things you really want to do is focus on putting together that kind of package. And so, like, I think that, you know, doing it slowly over time, by you know finding a couple things to buy here or maybe crafting them yourself which is way harder but finding a couple things to buy every once in a while that can help to pad that prestige package i think is the way to go i'm not going to dive in too much on it today but uh, let's go look at rentals too and kind of see the difference here now one thing i would say is that you know they they do allow you to kind of have these like bundles and uh, you, all you got to do is just make sure you look here like, okay, there's single listings or there's bundle listings. And then the, the new edition, which I don't know, maybe you guys don't play a lot of big time that you haven't seen, but they now have a seven day period that you can rent for. Before it was just, it was 30 days. That's it. You got, you got 30 days. That's all. But I love the fact that we can now get a seven day uh, rental going uh, for, for some of these packages and uh, you don't have to worry too much about it. But you can see here, like, here's some of the bundles. And actually, we're going to go low to high and just kind of see what they have bundled really low. But you can see, like, for 10 bucks, you can get uh, uh, this the uh, Zoldarian Adept chest bundle plate uh, and uh, it's nine, nine other items. So it's like a vestment, some shoulders, things like that, right? Um, then we got some kind of some crafting bundles. I think that, uh, let me see if we got, I, I, I wish that we were like, I wish they had a, a, a category just for prestige bundles, right? So saying, hey, this is a bundle of prestige items that are meant to be used for prestige, right? So you can see like some of these are like that, but for whatever reason, it's just, it kind of defaults to whatever the first item is, I think in that bundle. Big time to the moon, baby. Poke Bros, hey, thanks, man. You've been watching me since around the blockchain. Yeah, I mean, I was on that show since the beginning. Search emissary, look at $40 rental bundles. I could do that. Why not? I see one here. So you can see, like, uh, this gives you Dragon King uh, Lattice Lightbringer, 
which is not really anything I would use, but this is a, you know, it's got a, so you got two emotes, which is great. You got uh, a, a headpiece, you got a title, and uh, why well, it's weird that the photo for this is not showing. So that's not bad. Agent John Legend getting the, what's going on? Agent Tay gifted five memberships? Agent Tay, you crazy, magnificent bastard. Mustache love to you, man. Let's go. Welcome back. Coming back with a freaking vengeance. Thank you so much for that, Agent Tay. Just dropping some love there. Uh, we got uh, jo Agent John Legend. He can't get he can't get rid of us, man. Now he's back in the agents program. <laughs> and then Agent Ducal also gifted membership. He he's a member over on Discord, but now you got one here on on YouTube as well. Agent Zachary, Agent Bazad, Agent MJ Sprouts. What's going on? No, MJ Sprouts was on on a tear there, winning some great some great prizes for me back in the day, not too long ago. Well, welcome to the Welcome to the agents program, guys. Um, you know, right now you got like the low level entry, but I really implore you, uh, type in chat exclamation agents program. And that'll give you a link to go learn more about what the whole agents program really is about. And you may consider upgrading and becoming an elite agent where you get all kinds of crazy good perks. So yeah, so you can see here, like, you know, uh, a lot of these bundles... Are, are are you know there's a there's a good variety of these bundles, but the the problem is being able to sort through them and find the things that are going to make the most sense for you to play, right? Uh, find the things that make the most sense for you to play. So once again, A through Z. Let's go to the price low to high. Yeah, it's exclamation agents program. It, it should give you uh, agent nightbot will give you a link there, and then you can go check out all the information there about joining the GIA and what that means. But yeah, welcome to the new agents and thank you so much, Agent Tay. GG, man. So yeah, so a lot of times, like I said, the problem being with these bundles is that you're getting things that you may not actually need in a bundle. So like trying to find one is really hard. What I would like to do is I would love to be able to have like a feature where you can go and find single items that people are renting. And what they can do is they can put a bundle discount, right? So if, if you're like gonna find like, okay, maybe you have one seller and he's renting 20 things and you want five of those 20 things, you can go and bid on those and say, hey, I want these, I'll put them together in a bundle, and then it gives you a little bit of a cheaper price than if you were doing it individually. Because like right now, I feel like that's always the hard part, is coming in here and trying to find a full bundle of things to rent that makes sense, but uh, but you know, but, but a lot of times it's, it doesn't, right? Like all these things together, it's like, okay, I gotta find this bundle, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, and so yeah. So just kind of look at what we have here at like a, a little bit of a lower level. Most of these are pretty low level type of packages. But yeah, we would need something like, like this, like a Warhammer of Sir Bedivere bundle. Let's see what's in this one. It's all the weapons, right? So it's like, do I really need all these weapons? Like, not really. See, like some of these packages don't make sense to me. But people, you know, they're just going to throw a bunch of stuff together because they have a, they have a bunch of extras and then it floods, kind of floods the marketplace with all these bundles that no one's ever renting because they're just a bundle. They, they don't make sense, right? They don't make any sense. What is your guys' take on bundles and rentals? I honestly, I think that, that Big Time has the best rental system that I've seen from any Web3 game ever. Like they really have, so I'm not, you know, when I, you hear me complain, so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying like, man, uh, you know, the, the rental system here is actually really, really good. So you can see too, like, like total price, $10 for seven days or $15 for 30 days for five more bucks. You get it for the entire month, which is crazy. Right. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, you know, having some of these things, so I, I don't know, man, it really depends on the way you're, you're kind of going about it. But I would say like looking at picking up uh, uh, an item on the actual marketplace versus renting here and there. If you're, if you're looking to really go long term, might be the way to go. Uh, I think what what's what could be really what the power I see with rentals until they kind of 
fix it where you know they have these prestige bundles that make sense and there's like a category for them and it's not just a bunch of items thrown in together like here's a you know a prestige thing that kind of covers a bunch of things there's no way for me to like search for that so i have to just keep looking and looking and looking and looking right but if there was a category that was specifically for like hey here's these you know bundles and these will help you get an xyz and they kind of correlate with the requirements that you see right so if there was like a level like uh, okay, um, based upon the requirements we have for all prestige dungeons, there are five levels, uh, and then those th these packages correspond to those levels. So, like, this package is deemed a level one based upon the items you put in it. So you know, hey, in general, uh, with this package, I'd be able to access most level one dungeons, and then, you know, level one prestige dungeons, right? So that's kind of the disconnect is that there's you need to have so much knowledge about the different things you need for prestige to get in, uh, and and the and some of the bundles just don't make sense. They're just super random. But yeah, I mean, like honestly, man, like the bun, like like I, I think that there's just some small things they could do, some some small changes that they could really do here with bundles and with the rental system to make it truly epic, right? But because right now the prestige system is very convoluted, and that's the main thing people are coming on here to rent, right? So um, that's kind of my that's kind of my thought, and like just kind of where we're at with the with the market in general. Like the market in general, they're they're pumping as you saw in the marketplace. Uh, things are not cheap, you know. Uh, things are not cheap at all. I mean, there are some cheap things, but even the cheapest things, like like even like the the common, the the cheap like Hearts Envoy, the most common freaking title is still three dollars. Like that's crazy. Uh, Zafiz, you're right. Spunderland rentals are actually really good too. They they were the first ones to really do a really great rental system. Now I'm not knocking Splinterlands here. But I do feel like Big Time has done a little bit better of a job, uh, because really with Splinterlands, their in game, their the Splinterlands actual marketplace sucks. It's the it's the it's the third party marketplaces for Splinterlands that are actually really good. So I I, I don't ever use like the in game actual Splinterlands interface. Um, you know I'll go to like Peaked uh, or, or like Peak Monsters or something like that to go rent my stuff in Splinterlands. Yeah, CMDR, you, you hit the nail on the head, man. Uh, no rentals under $10, yep. 99% of bundles are senseless because same people renting them, so why they should put uh, two or three rare items in one bundle when you can rent three bundles with one rare per bundle? Yeah. Codeface, putting together packages with two epic and a lot of titles, emotes, and other stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, I, I lost the package that I was renting, and it was a perfect package. Like I worked with my buddy Custom TV. You guys hear him on here all the time, right? Uh, and he put a package together for me. But what just happens is like, you know, I'm never guaranteed those items because I'm renting them every month. And, you know, he's a, he's a good buddy, but he's like, hey, I need that stool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like, I need that stool that was in that package. And, you know, I can't blame him. But to then go find a really good package like that again, just it's really hard. Yeah, try Coface trying to do full package, just don't have three epics. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, I, I think that, that hopefully we see a little bit of adjustment for bundles, just making it easier to find them. Now, prices and things like that, I, you know, I don't know, man. That that I understand, but but really just trying to make it easier to find those. Yeah, I, and they, they do keep trying to mess around with procedure, like making them like more requirements to get in, which I think is just, it, it's just a mistake, man. I think it's just a mistake. Yeah. And and like I said, you know, I I've I've done some renting. I I got things that are on the marketplace that I that I've done rentals for like uh but I'm not renting anything right now, I don't think actually. I, I need to put I I just cuz I've been gone and I I just wasn't I wasn't prepared. <laughs> so, let me see rentals. Yeah, I don't have anything being rented. But I do have a couple of things like, you know, I have some of these lucky draw mystery boxes that I got and I haven't opened, you know, these things are just kind of sitting here, right? Ready to be opened. And then I got my time, one of my time wardens that I'm not using right now uh, that I that usually I'm renting, right? So let's go, actually, we could just look. We just do, go do a rental. Wait, hold on.
so for those of people who have never seen how the rental system kind of works here, I'll just kind of show you the, and like, basically what I want to do is come over here, open this. I just want to see what a lunar time warden is going for. So you go ten ten dollars for seven days, is the standard, right? So everyone's renting them for ten bucks for seven days. Uh, let's see what they're doing for thirty days or forty five. I don't, you know, like there's there's just so many too. So like I can list this for rent, uh, but I don't know that you know, I don't even know that it's actually going to get rented because there's so many right now. That $1,293, that is the value of the NFTs it shows. No, that's actually the amount of money I have in my big time account. So that's money that I've earned uh, from playing and, and, uh, and buying and renting and selling items. Mostly from rentals, honestly, early rentals. And then I did sell a couple things too uh, early on, which was dumb because, man, the, t the, the Lunar Time Wardens and some other the Time Warden things that I sold early on, psh, they went so big. I sold some of them for like three hundred bucks, and and they went to like you know a thousand dollars. So, uh, I kind of got I kind of got had on that man. But yeah, that that's my in game balance of actual money that, and I can withdraw that right now uh, into USDC. Oh man, come on. So boom, there you go. I, I put my lunar time warden up there with the rest of them. Uh, but you'll see like, man, there's a lot. And it's funny because it doesn't even show you yours either. So there's the, that is something I could say like, hey, you know, I would love to be able to see which one is mine. Like just put like a little flag on it, like your rental. But you can see there's one, I mean, there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 65, 70, 70. I mean, there's just so many. No one's ever going to rent these, these, these time orders. That's why I wasn't renting it, right? So it was, I was like, eh, not a big deal. But then you kind of see some of these other ones. Like, they're just sticking it for the same price, 10 bucks. They're sticking in some extras, right? We got an echoing hourglass, two echoing hourglasses, and the time warrant for 10 bucks for, for seven days. For, you know, like, so. Bots? No, no, not, not bots. Don't talk about early sellout. Yeah, man. Well, you know, hourglass is moving up. Spaces are dropping. Yeah, I can see that. I didn't talk about the big time price in there. We, we can go talk about that actually real quick. Why not? We're, like I said, we're, do, we're doing a little bit different stuff. But we're going to get to gameplay here in just a second. But uh, a lot of questions when it comes to other things, right, with big time. I do. I mean, every, every stream is essentially a, a full gameplay live stream. But let's talk a little bit about what we're seeing here uh, for the big time token and kind of where we're at. So sitting at 36 cents. And, you know, what I will say is that when you look at the chart here, we're going to go back actually a little bit and kind of look at, yeah, three months I think is actually pretty good. So kind of starting from the, from the end of December. So this is a couple months after they launched their, uh, their actual economy. So you can see looking at kind of like a high of 50 something, say, or what did we get to a high of? All time high of 97 cents. So it peaked here very quickly at 97 cents, right? Or maybe that maybe it did it uh, here. Yeah, no, it was here. Yeah. So after they a little bit after they launched, right? And they just shot up uh, to that to that uh, that peak there. And then essentially what we've seen is just kind of a slow deg. You know, we had a little bit of pump here uh, in the beginning of March, but you know it's kind of come all the way back down. And we're really seeing kind of like, you know, this is a very brand new token. So we're seeing a lot of price discovery for this token. Because like I said, uh, the token launched just before we started seeing a lot of hype cycle come back into crypto. And I think because of that, and because there's so much sell pressure, guys, that that's why we've not really seen big time breakout as a token. Because what they the team has been doing, obviously, is incentivizing people to play the game and get in there and do things, right? Buy things in the marketplace, buy and sell, trade. Uh, by giving their token out, right? Running leaderboards where you're earning tokens. And then what do people do with those tokens? Do you really think they're going? They're using those all in game? No, the problem is because there's not enough burn mechanics in the game for the amount of tokens they're releasing. 
So there's a little bit of a, uh, an imbalance of the sink and faucet, right? Uh, so, so, or, or, or faucets and drains is what I really like to call it. People call them sinks and faucets, but really that seems dumb. Uh, I think it should be drain and, and faucet, right? So you got the faucet where, where the coins are coming out and that shit is on high, man. It's like, bah! and then you got the, the drain, but the drain hole is like this big. <laughs> so like it starts, so you got all this cell pressure that's building up in the actual sink, right? And uh, it just—it's always trying to push as much as it can, so that price can never rise, right? It's having—it's having a lot of trouble being, you know, to be able to get to a, a, a bigger, you know, breakout here. So that's why we've only seen, you know, maybe twenty or thirty percent swings here with the big time token over the last couple of months, when we've seen a lot of other tokens break out, right? We've seen them kind of range in this like thirty-ish range, thirty cents. So really, you know, if you really like want to look at like where we've seen a lot of the, of the tops here. We've seen the top kind of averaging around 40 something cents, right? A little bit of a breakout quickly to like the 50 cent range like it did here too, right? But this is only over like what, two or three days? And then boom, it just plummeted right back down, right? And then getting back down to that 30 cent level. And that's where we've kind of been at. So um, I don't know, you know, I, 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 you know, very similar to like a splinter lens in, in, in games where like there's a lot of emissions for tokens. I think that we're really going to see this be the case over time until they start weaning off the player is earning so many tokens, right? But right now, that's kind of what's keeping things afloat because that's that's incentivizing people to go and spend a bunch of money in the marketplace, and then big time is making a ton of money off fees, right? I mean, just they're they're just raking it in. So that's why it's like, hey, we we you know we we have this token that uh, you know essentially we create we'll see we created out of thin air. That's all crypto tokens, right? And they're giving that away. Because that's that that's the big ace in the hole, right? Is they say, look, we can get this away. It has value. People are buying and selling it. Yeah, people do buy it to use it in the marketplace and to use it in the game, right? For things, but in general, there's not enough sinks, I think, and that's why they pushed crafting because crafting is one of the biggest sinks for the token itself, right? So you know, I think that really the biggest thing is they need to reduce the emissions. But if you reduce how many rewards are being given out, then you definitely going to reduce the player base at this early stage. And it may lose a, enough interest where, you know, people just don't want to play it anymore because the main thing they were doing is playing it because of rewards. So it is a tricky balancing act. I'm not going to lie. Guys, this is a very tricky balancing act. Lebanese in the building. What's going on? Now, yeah, you know, uh, John Legend, the member only vids, uh, you know, a lot of those are really old. I, I was doing that for a little while. But then I didn't feel like there was really a lot of interest. You know? I didn't feel like there was a lot of interest for that. So um, we don't do a ton of member-only videos anymore. But maybe that's something we, we bring back. I don't know. How do you feel about it? All right, look. Let's jump into big time. Let's go play some. We, we, did, we talked about the market. We talked about, uh, we talked about the... Uh, the token itself. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go play some big time. And look, we still have a rare small space to give away. You know, still, still. <laughs> Let's jump in. So like I said, today we're just going to kind of take it easy, uh, you know, because in general, I'm doing a little bit of a shorter play session today. Usually we go we go pretty long, right? We're going two, three hours uh, playing big time. And today uh, I don't have as much time to jump in and play. So we're going to play for a little bit, but just kind of see where we're at and what we're doing. I just, you know, being gone last week and then the week before, a lot of like family issues have come up here recently, guys, where I've just not had a lot of play time in general. So I haven't been able to play big time a lot. Um, I haven't been able to stream or make a lot of videos recently either. So I appreciate you guys' patience, though, and, and sticking with me, man. You know, family is definitely one of those things. Ooh, I got hourglasses on still. Come on, stash. That's not good. Yeah, I left some of those on, and I should not have. Uh, but yeah, in general, man, I've, I've been doing a lot of... Oh, hey, there's Jimmy. What's up, man?
<laughs> so yeah, so I've been working through a lot of things here on the family side. And you guys know how that goes, man. Family comes first. We like we like gaming. We like hanging out with our buddies, but uh, always got to put family first for sure. And sometimes that that's hard. Yeah, I think the game does have great uh, potential. CMDR, like I agree with you, man. You know, I I'll keep playing the game. Maybe, you know, maybe it's like, hey, this is not. You know, I'm not. I'm not min maxing anything here, but I still enjoy playing it. I think that there is definitely something here. I like the look of the game. I think they just need to continue to make some good updates and continue to progress. And I feel like they put a lot of focus on the money aspect here. You know, early on. So hopefully they can put a little bit more uh, onto the, uh, oh, this is a little bit better. Less evasion, less mitigation. That's the only thing I'm like, ooh, do I really need more energy and health? Yeah, screw it. Let's go, we'll put that on. But you gotta think about any game like this, getting an early, especially MMOs, you know, finding rare gear, uh, and if rare NFTs that are then sold out at some point, like they're or crafted out, you know, I think that's pretty big. Because there's definitely been some MMOs I've played where uh, I ended up because I was early getting some of these really rare early items and then could sell them on the black marketplace. Don't tell anybody, uh, but sell them to other people like through PayPal and <laughs> and actually come up out on top which is kind of nice so hmm, i'm not going to sell that just yet that be moved up here oh, this one's cool it has unstoppable shout on it but so does the one i already have and it's not as nice so i don't think we really need this Actually, this is not bad versus what I have on. We'll do that. Definitely don't need that or that. Now let's see what happens when we when we switch switch. Oh, it doesn't show. Oh, it doesn't show it here, which is weird. Why can't I? Oh, is this because it's a? Uh... Oh, that's weird. Okay. Okie dokie. When will we see a one dollar big time? I mean, we we almost saw it. I could easily see big time getting it to one dollar. I mean, no problem. That's only that's only like a, from where we're at right now, which I would kind of consider the uh, you know kind of like like the the price discovery. I wouldn't say bottom, but like mid level. I think that's I think that uh, I could, we could, that's only that's only what like a three and a half x. Yeah, we could easily see that here during this bull run. I mean, I think that's incredibly achievable. And uh, I do think we'll see that. And probably even more, to be perfectly honest, because, you know, when you look at some of these these elements that we're talking about here, about why the price is being suppressed and, and like, like supply versus demand and fundamentals, man, people throw those things out the window when it comes to the, bear, uh, the bull market, right? In bear market, we really have to be kind of cognizant of those things, but... Um, Ooh, look at this. Yeah, give me some cracked hourglasses. But like, uh, I think in a, in a bull market, man, things are just crazy. And a lot of times people are, are you know, things are really overvalued. So yeah, I think that when we're in the thick of the bull market, which we're just barely seeing the beginnings of it, guys, uh, I think that we will definitely see big time well above $1.00.
But like I said, uh, you know, some of that does have to do with like how many tokens are being emitted when there's people just dumping tokens every single time, like every single day because they're getting them from these leaderboards. Uh, and it's like, well, it doesn't make sense to do. Wait, oh, no, I didn't go to that one. It doesn't make sense to to hold them or keep them around. You know, you always have people selling and not a lot of people buying because the speculators uh, are just going to keep getting dumped on because there's so many tokens being emitted. So like I said, it's, it's a very tricky balance. And then that's something that uh, we have to take in consideration. And all games kind of, you know, they face this, right? All games really face this issue of like, re you know, rewards that we're giving plus token price. And the, and the kind of emissions that we see, right, with, with the supply. Any news on circulating supply? What do you what do you mean, Eman? What are you talking about there? Okay, I think we've got everything that we need. Why don't I have my freaking shield? Why can't I put a shield right here? Oh, I need a Ooh, I didn't I need I didn't mean to sell I meant to sell this guy too. Oops. Alright, we're gonna go back to the vendor real quick. The issue of magic internet and money. Yeah, I mean yeah. I mean my my uh my 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 uh, met pocket metaverse area is definitely not one of it's not the nicest, man. Like I said, you know, I, I don't own a ton of assets for big time. I enjoy playing the game, but I definitely don't own like a, a, a massive amount of assets. So, man, I've seen some people with some amazing spaces. It's like, this is the shield that I just sold. And I don't know why I couldn't equip that shield. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, so like I don't have any titles or anything like that. Like, so I need to really start building up some of my base items, and slowly but surely, you know, get more items that I can easily use for like prestige dungeons and stuff. So, so for the the uncommon cracked hourglasses i believe they've reduced that down to uh to maybe i think it was maybe five now i think before it was 10 but yeah it's 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 not a lot they the uncommon ones they reduced down quite a bit maybe it was maybe it's four now yeah so okay yeah there you go it's it's five yeah that's what I thought. I was like, it's like it's five, yeah, that you can do, and you're always doing them in bulk, right? I don't want to do them single. Well, that's what I'm saying, Emad. Is the circulating supply, right? Like they keep emitting more tokens. They have a very large max supply, right? Uh, but they've been emitting a lot of tokens recently, is what I'm saying. See, for whatever reason, I couldn't equip the other guy. Let me see. Oh, that's a good choice. Let's have a safe journey. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. I would try to equip the other one. It was. It just wouldn't let me. It seemed like I could sell it though. It's all yours. Here you go. 
It's the best price around. been holding a big bag of, of big time for a long time yeah i mean i think that like i said there's a lot of sell pressure for the for the big time token so um you know i i think it really kind of comes down to like are you going to use it for playing in the game or are you going to use it uh you know to try and trade i would definitely look for that next you know close to all-time high or passing all-time high if you want to unload those bags man you don't want to get stuck with them and i will tell you the more that they emit right if they keep saying hey we're going to do a, a, you know, a lot more leaderboards were giving away the same, like millions of millions of dollars worth of big time tokens. Man, that's really diluting uh, the pool there, right? And doing it very quickly. All right, got my dailies and weeklies. Oh, public event's gonna spawn here in 20 hours. So I know we got a couple of homies here that are hanging out. Um, but I think we're just going to do some solo stuff today. Oh, I do have some some skill ups that we got to do here real quick, though. What do we want to put points into? Probably dexterity. I legit don't have anything left here really in the passive tree. I need to get to the next level. Like I need trainers, but they're, man, they're so expensive. It's crazy. Oh, wait, did I not? Okay, oh, I had two points. I thought I only had one. Eh. Okay, and then let's see. What do we put this into? Try and max that out. Or we'll put it, ma yeah, max out unstoppable shot. I think that's better. Always had issues with games that force you to play in orgs. Do you mean like in guilds and groups? You mean guilds or do you mean just group play? Agent Gen X, which one do you mean? All right, so we're going to go and we're going to go look and see and just find some solo stuff. I, I know Jimmy and Misfit were probably like, oh man, what's up? We should, we should go grind together. But uh, I just want to do a little bit of solo stuff today. Because like I said, I'm not going to be uh, I'm not going to be playing for too much longer. But we are going to do a giveaway here in just a second, so keep that in mind. Now, one of the things too is that you know I keep realizing is that every time I come into Big Time, man, there's always a lot of like rubber banding. I don't know if it's like a server issue, but like, look, see now it's doing it again right now. Look, I'm not even running. I'm running in place. Do the button, man. <laughs> So I think this server is about to crash right now. Like I can't swing my weapon. I can't do anything. I think it's going to crash. Uh, the server is new. They're like, Stash, you've been talking too damn much. That's it. We're going down. We're going down. <laughs> I almost made it to the dungeon. <laughs> Okay, um, you know, maybe this is a good time to do the giveaway. What do you guys think? Let's do it. All those all those faithful that have stuck around here for a little while. And like, this guy just keep, you're going to keep talking. He's not going to give nothing away. Yep, there it goes. All right. Let's do a giveaway. We're going to load uh, our trusty Agent Nightbot here. Agent Nightbot is the, the he is the the keeper of the giveaways. He is the the sergeant at arms. We'll say he's the sergeant at arms. You can't piss off Agent Nightbot because if you do, 
he will put you into the box. You're going to go into solitary, and you'll never win anything ever again. So keep that in mind. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to do this giveaway for one rare small space NFT. Uh, we look, we didn't even look at those, but let's let, actually, while, while we run the, the giveaway, we're going to look at those. But um, right now to get into this giveaway, all you got to do is put exclamation crash into chat. Exclamation crash, put it in chat, load it on up, and uh, you'll be entered to win for the giveaway. Now, don't put it more than once, or like I said, Sergeant at Arms Nightbot, he's going to put you in the box, man. Exclamation crash. Yep, yep, yep. And only put it once, please, so you don't. So Nightbot doesn't, doesn't kick your ass. He doesn't put you in the box. Okay, so we're gonna leave that open for like a minute or two, just like a just like a minute, just like a like a little, tee, you know. Let's go take a look at the marketplace and what a rare small space is all about. All right, back in the market, we're gonna go spaces. We're gonna go price low to high. So right now, rare small rare small spaces are at one twenty four. So yeah, the spaces have definitely been going down in price. And that's something that, you know, when we talk about the marketplace, that's another thing I would love to see here is like some metrics, right? Some data, a lot, like a real, a solid marketplace, like an open sea or any of the other ones that you can look at these items and you can see like, like historic data, right? You can see some high, kind of a historic data. Um, and we don't really see that with these things. And I would like to see some more of that here on, on the site. I would really like to see some more of that here on the site. Uh, I do like that you can kind of come here and see which one it is that you're getting, which is kind of like what, what style, what theme, whatever. But I would love to see some some historic data for that. But yeah, we're essentially giving away this this uh, $124, $125 item here today. Um, and then, you know, this is a, your entry into big time. It's your entry into big time. If you want to have a, a, a like actual land, right, where you can start expanding that land, you can get cracked hourglasses. You saw me pick a couple of those up. Right, I got a rare one and two commons. You can get those uh, just by having the space, and th those break down into big time tokens. So, yeah, I mean, e being a free to play player, you could win something like this because there's a lot of people giving away things. I'm not the only one. People giving away these mystery boxes, people giving away uh, rare spaces, they're giving away items. They, ha they have sometimes have a small log of sale, but then some days they hide it. Well, what we want to see really is like for each item, like rare small, small spaces, we should be able to see a historic data of like how much they were over time, like because it's really hard to track those things and look at and look at that at, at, with a little bit of a bigger picture, which that that kind of makes me a little bit sad. All right, guys, get in, get in your exclamation crash because we're gonna, we're going to close the giveaway here in just a few seconds. Just a few seconds. But I mean, people are buying them, so you can see right here, like, like you know, you can kind of see that, like the act, you know, like this is just shows like activity over time, but it doesn't give you like a good analytics, right? You can go and see like the last few hours and keep scrolling, and it's just a big long database of this, right? You can kind of see the price going up and down between one twenty four, one twenty eight, right? One twenty four. Uh, someone got away with a couple hundred and tens there. <laughs> They're trying to unload them. Maybe they've been to put one twenty. I don't know. But yeah, you can kind of see a little bit. This is so you know they are moving, but uh, I would say slowly. And the price hasn't changed too much. It's not fluctuated too much over the last couple of days. But if we keep going back, let's see if we go back like 14 days, you can see they were near $200 just two weeks ago, and then they just kept dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping, right? But I, we don't really get to see that in a good analytic type of way. They have a chart of history on Dashloot. I don't know what Dashloot is. Is that a, is that a third party website? Interesting. All right, guys, we're going to close the giveaway. We're ready to do this. We going to give away. We're rolling it. And hey, once again, you got to be here. You got to have your big time username ready. 
right? Got to be present. Got to have your big time username ready. If you don't have it, can't help you. Got to re-roll you. All right, let's go. Oh, and Bricks just came under the wire. Literally just jumped into chat and posted it. And you are today's winner. Congratulations, Bricks Pasia. Uh, let me know your big time username. Let me know your, your big time username so I, I can get you that uh, rare small, small space. Please put it in chat as soon as possible. So I got it here. But congratulations. Uh, I don't know if you already have a small space, but. <laughs> Coaches are like, re-roll. Well, you got to put it in chat. Hopefully, hopefully they see, uh, you know, Bricks is the winner. So hopefully he sees it and puts it in chat. We'll wait a couple more seconds here, and then we will re-roll that bad boy. Dash loot, huh? We're going to check that out. Yeah, I have not seen this before. That's interesting. This, is, this must be like a third-party, like, analytics site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aftermarket track of Ripple. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, but this is the kind of thing that need to be built into the big time, the actual big time, uh, you know, interface, right? And even this too, like, I, you know, this is one of those things where I want to see like actual like chart style data, not just showing me the price, like, because you can already see this, right? Bricks, your you're full, that's your full open loot username with with like case sensitive right because this looks like a very long that there's is that really your noob always stay together noob that's your full username in open loot all right man that's got to be exactly what it is in open loot and if it's not you're not you're, you're not going to end up getting your prize but that's crazy that's definitely the craziest one i've seen put it in dash loot and see all right yeah that's perfect let's go oh there yeah there it is what? <laughs> oh, that's great. Let's check out what this guy. See, this guy's stacked already. He's got a ton, a ton of stuff. Kind of crazy to be, to be able to kind of see that, right? Noob. Guy's been doing some volume. So yeah, I mean, th these are the kind of the you know the, the tools I was talking about. I wish they were kind of built into the big time platform, but at least someone went ahead and did it. You know, at least someone went ahead and did, did this, right? So yeah, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is cool. So this is the overall market, the volume, which is nice. We're seeing volume go up here over this month. I mean, that's a, but like, see, I can't even like this is still pretty basic when you look at this, right? I can't zoom out. So I only I, I can only just kind of see, I guess well this is from the beginning of the market so I but there's no way to like zoom in and see a little bit more like uh, a little bit more um, fine grained data as, as as far as I don't think there is no I don't think so same with this like unique holders like okay yeah that's uh, you know floor of, of what floor like I don't even know what this means floor of what items the number of items like it went up crazy right away and like slow but surely has increased but like. These are not even really that good of metrics, right? Like this market history, like, I don't know. That's not super great. Yo, Aztec Warlord, what's going on? It's not rigged, man. It's not, I'm not, it's not like I choose a poor or rich person to give it to. Agent Nightbot, he's random. If you guys don't know Nightbot and you've been watching game streamers, then I don't know what to tell you, but Agent Nightbot is as is, is fair as it gets. And, uh, you know, as long as somebody puts their name in, that's, it's, you know, I can't do any more than that. I can't play, can't play favorites guys. But yeah, like I would be able, like, let, let, like, let's look at like echoing hourglasses. So, okay. So yeah, it, it does give you this like, like a little bit more fine grain. So this is nice to see, right? You can see like, dang, one day, like they just dropped a six bucks. Oh, and it's weird that we see they don't have rental prices. So yeah, I mean this is cool. They 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 definitely 
have something here. I think this is pretty nice. Uh, this is over the last seven days. Look at last, last, like last 30 days. Yeah, big big spike right there. That's crazy. Someone got someone picked up a picked up a bunch for some for pretty cheap. So yeah, when you look at the kind of price here for one of the most basic assets in the game, the low level common hourglass, people buying them has pretty much has been in a in between a range of like we'll say I don't know maybe uh you know since a little bit after launch between seven ish dollars to a high of 22 which is crazy but really more of like around the 15 16 dollar range where we've seen we've seen it kind of uh, hit that top a couple times right 17.99 this is a little bit shy of that but another 17 here's like 16 17 right uh and then kind of back back there so it's interesting to see then look we look here's another this is another like benchmark item right So last 180 days this is the total for these items at 1.385. But you can see these have basically just been bleeding out, right? You're not really seeing them like it's like lower lows and lower highs as we continue to progress. So it's interesting. Well, hey, congrats there. Uh, congrats there, uh, Bricks. I'll get you. I'm going to send your name to the team and they will take care of you. It, it will take like a week or so. So just give that uh, keep that in mind. All right, let's go load. Uh, let's go load big time back up and see if we can get in. All right, we're gonna go do just a solo dungeon run. And so, like, what I like to do with these solo dungeon runs is, um, you know, I'll go and look for something pretty just basic. Hold Q. It's like hold Q for for the first time. Like I don't even like why. That's weird that it says that. But <laughs> um, so you know, I'm always looking for a dungeon that's about half of what my current what my current uh, level is, right? So I'm at 27. So I would say maybe something around the 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 12, maybe 15 range, something around there. Like if I can find a level 12, like that's probably the best bet for me to go to do solo. So always looking at to do something that's about that range because it, it it means it's quick it's easy like our and, and like you know you, you don't get a lot so in comparison to like game like you know group play you, you're getting you, it pales in comparison right and that's what i was saying like i think my big suggestion too for for the game to yeah and there's man there's not a lot of portals out right now my biggest suggestion is to you know, and, and this is another thing too as you can see like a lot of times they keep pushing like there's tons of prestige portals at these lower levels, but there's no regular portals. And I think this is something that the agent tasty was kind of talking about. Like he's like, they need more portals, you know, and because I think maybe the spawn is, is a little bit off, right? It would be greater to see a few more portals that were, you know, around that level. But I think what they need to do is offer solo content and, 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 you know, make that also viable, right? Make solo content viable, but not overpowered. Right? So it's like, okay, well, it doesn't make sense. To do that see like actually this is not bad so this is actually this is not actually not a bad one um portal mod chip we got some we could do do we roll yeah why not Let's see what we get here i don't think I, I don't have a ton so oof epic chest drop bonus well, let's let, let's lock that one in, and we're gonna do one more roll. Oh, it's twenty on the second roll. Dang it! All right, let's let's just buy a couple more. So this is what I mean about like a, there's a lot of like pay to win type of things here. I mean that that is a big part of big time, I would say, I guess. So roll one more time. I got the same exact thing. Cosmetic modifier, decorations, basic. All right, we're going to roll one more time. Come on, don't give me the same old crap. All right, that's better. At least we got some mod chips and that same cosmetic. So enemy damage boost, uh, enemy evasion reduction. So, all right.
Solo is impossible currently because of server issues. What do you mean, CMDR? Oh, you're like, I'm not a commander anymore. That's right. That's my position. I'm commander stash. So Layla Sar, Layla Sar, that, that makes more sense. <laughs> Gen X doing, doing straight up trivia in chat. I love it. That's awesome, Gen X. Keep it up. We should have some nerd badges. I like that. That's, a, that's actually cool. So if we see an epic chest in here, I don't know if we'll, I, I doubt we'll open it, but you know, whatever. Like I said, you know, a lot of people want to min-max this game and really focus on that. And that, that a lot of times, is just not really me. I, I just want to enjoy and grind and sometimes just, like, mindlessly grind things. You know? And not have to, like, care about every little min-max detail and every little thing. Run, Stash, run! <laughs> yeah, I mean, Solo definitely has its disadvantages, of course, you know? But that's why I say, like, when you're when you're doing the solo content, you know, find one that's an appropriate level. I would say. Uh, that way, you know, you're really just kind of mowing things down pretty easily, like, and then it just becomes kind of mindless, which I like. <laughs> I guess that sometimes you don't want to think too much about it. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about hourglasses and. Worry about um, you know team getting a team together and worrying about having the right gear and you know that that's what I think is kind of missing a little bit from from this game too. Where are you going? Freaking bug is like running away from me. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be doing prestige dungeons uh, solo. Actually, that that just doesn't like prestige is really all about min maxing, right? That's why I'm just going to go into a regular dungeon like this and just kind of, you know, mess around. Um, which one? We're going to go to the two this way first. Like I said, I, I, you know, I'm not going to make a ton of EXP because you're soloing. You really just don't. But I think that it'd be great to have that kind of scale for solo play. And really, the, my, my suggestion for that is making the storyline really all about solo play. So going into the, the into these like storyline uh, you know dungeons, you're gonna be able to get better experience being a solo player because it's meant to be solo, if that makes any sense. Out of level range, what? That's weird. This is a low level dungeon. I don't know why that even says that, but whatever. Too high level for it. Why would I be able to open the loot boxes here? Oh, because of the range. Okay, I understand. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. I was I was trying to find one that's like yeah, like under. I'm like two over. Yeah. I didn't know there was a cap on it. Actually, like that. I thought that you could go ahead and do them, and it was not a problem. 
Like I knew if you were out of out of the range, right, that you couldn't open them, which would make sense. But I didn't know that it was like an under under range too, which kind of sucks. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, can't open any chests. Crazy. See, but that's what I mean. Like they they really don't incentivize kind of solo play. And it's like if I want to come in and grind something, the only thing I could do really solo is a lower level dungeon, right? So like I think there's still a lot of like like balancing issues that need to be done. In my opinion, for sure. Dude, where is this freaking... But that's what I'm saying. Like, why, what, what is the advantage? Like, why, why, would you, why would it matter if your level was too high? Right, because then you're getting these items that are pretty much not going to be super worth. They're not going to be worth much because they're not scaled to your level. Like, why? Why would that even matter? What? What is the? Like, what are you disincentivizing? Like, why would you not want people to do that? You know, like, I understand for like like chests that are above your level, that makes sense. But chests that are below your level, like, what advantage is that? Like, what would you have if you could do that? I just don't. I don't understand why that would even be the case. You know. Because there's no way I can take on a dungeon uh, or anywhere around my level by myself without dying. So like going going the the way of like oh it being larger than your you know like anything above you you can't open that makes sense right, but uh, doing things where it's like oh below you also I think that's just dumb. We'll see if we can find like a more appropriate level dungeon. I didn't, I didn't even think about that when I jumped in. Yeah, and it's funny because like I'm not even getting any, any drops either. Like there's literally nothing dropping. So this must have been a change because I I've done I mean it's been a while since I've done any solo stuff, but I swear I used to come in here and do this. So they must have changed this at some point over the last month or so. Because I swear I, I could, I, I was able to come into these dungeons and you know get gold, and earn a few items and open chests, uh, even when they were like yeah ten levels or so below me. But apparently that's not the case, the case anymore. It's a new change. Yeah, see that's what I thought, man. I was like I, I used to do this and it wasn't that long ago. Like over here making me think I'm crazy, dude. How the hell do you get up there? Where is this? I must have missed the entrance here to get to this place. This other floor. Well, I mean, we did we wasted some portal mod chips, which was kind of dumb, but whatever. Oh yeah, I did. It's in here. So we have to go up through here. So yeah, I just, I don't even understand why they would make that change, you know, personally, like, like, what is the, you know, what's the reason? Like, what is it deterring? Like, why, why, you know, once again, is it, is it really just because they're trying to make sure that people can't go and do solo stuff and that they want to force them into uh, group play? I don't know. Dude, how the hell do you get up there? There's got to be like some long ass way to get up there. Is 
that I just missed or something. I don't know. No. No, and you know, I'm not even getting any XP either, which kind of sucks. I think I'm just going to, like, back out as well. I, I didn't even realize that, like I said. So, yeah, new change. No one's asked what the game is. That's because, you know, we're not live on TikTok. That's why. Oh, and I didn't ask, actually, does anybody here need an access code for Big Time? If you need an access code to play Big Time and you're not already playing, let me know. I can give you one for free right now. Yeah, like, I'm not getting any XP. I'm not getting any gold. or nothing. It's, like, pointless to be here. It's just stupid to even be here, so... All right, let's see if we can find one that is a little bit closer to our level that we can try and grind and see what, what the, the issue is right there. So we need something more like in the 20 range. So we're going to have to go to Wastelands. Hey guys, is the stream looking uh, really choppy for you? Do you guys see the stream looking really choppy? Let me know. So I'm looking on this side, I'm seeing it look real, real chopped. It is? Ooh, something's going on, man. Why don't you guys say something sooner? Uh, I don't know what's up with that. That's really weird. Yeah, this is, it is looking really choppy. I'll have to figure out what's going on. I don't know. We're used to it. Well, I, I, you should be getting full frames from, from me, guys. I should. You should not see a choppy. It should not be choppy like this. Like this is a, this is something I just I've just noticed. Have you guys, do you guys see other streams that have been choppy like this? I'll have to go try and look at some, some settings and adjust some stuff if that's the case. Hmm. No, the game for me is not choppy at all. That's what I'm saying. Like everything's running butter smooth, but I'm looking at like myself as well as it when I'm running, like it starts to get really choppy. And I don't know if it's the game that's doing it or something, but like it's not even maxing out my computer. Like everything looks fine here on this side. It's barely like 50% GPU. My picture's not sure. Well, I, it looked like it was when I was talking right there. So yeah, I'll have to go see what's up with that and see if I can fix it. I don't know what happened, but it may just be my internet connection. It's been really up and down and weird lately. I've been getting a lot of like drop connections, like where the internet just goes out and I reset my router and then it's back up. So maybe it's something to do with my ISP.
Yeah, let me let me look to Oh yeah, for sure. You know, there's I've seen a lot of like frames skipped because of render and encoding lag. That's weird. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to take a look at that. Something must be up. And I don't. Oh, before I did, I guess I didn't confirm either of these when I did this, but I thought that I did. That's so weird. I could have sworn I wouldn't confirm this when we did it earlier. Okay. All right, see how long we can last in this one. This is more appropriate, like close to our level, right? All right, we're going for the Rift Generators. Corrosive, great. That's what I want. Come on, get out of there. Woo. See, this is what I mean about like doing solo, like, man. And especially because I don't have any heals. Like, if I was a quantum fixer, maybe it would be a little easier. But yeah, like, when it gets to the part like this, where you got, like, the big boss guys and they're smashing on you, and you got the little guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. We'll see. You got to really kite around here and <laughs> drink a potion and not get all jacked up. I feel like this guy's just smashing the shit out of me. And there's another guy slinging stuff from a super far distance. Those guys out there just like throwing bombs at me. Yeah, it's crazy how choppy it looks. I don't know what's going on there. Sorry, guys. I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not going to make it. See, I can't heal quick enough either. That's what I'm saying. Like, they, they really deter this from being solo play. Like, there's just no way. Like, if I had some sort of heals, maybe I could do it in solo, but... And I, I didn't bring any good heals too. Like I, if I had like some some uncommon ones, it would probably be better.
got his freaking shield off. So I don't I don't have a yellow I don't have a yellow weapon, so This is what I mean when you look at like solo play versus kind of regular group play. We would have smashed these guys in no time, you know, like butter. Running for me. You're next. There are currently lots of cyber attack activities all over the world. That's interesting. I did not know that. I didn't see anything about that incident at the Red Sea. Hmm. It's definitely the first time I've noticed it being this choppy, though. Have you have you agents noticed the stream uh, being really choppy recently, like the last few weeks or so? Because usually the stream is impeccable, man. I, I never really have any problems. I don't know. Not for ages. Yeah, I feel like it's been. I've never. I haven't had those problems for a long time. Once we, since we've got this. Uh, this new computer up and running. What are you doing? What the frick are you doing? Why can't? Uh oh. Um. I, I literally can't even switch or do anything. I, something must have got bugged out. Oh no. This is exactly what uh, what you were talking about, Layla. Uh, or maybe it's Lala. I don't know. I can't do anything. Look, I can't switch. I can't fight. I'm just. I'm. In, I'm gonna end up dying. I literally can't do anything. I can't. I can use my abilities, but look, I can't do anything yet. Another bug. Look at inventory and then go back out. Nope. Cancel shield. Oh, like take it off my... Let me see. Maybe that's why I got... Oh, yeah, that's what it was. So for so how Somehow I got two shields on. That's crazy. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Good looking out. Okay, I gotta get in here and smash on this thing. be on fire but oh shit there's a big guy I get bleeding as soon as I take the freaking potion these guys are like right on top of me
the uh, I, just, I just don't have enough potions to really do this, so I probably should have got way more. But even then, like it's like kind of impossible. I'm not, I wouldn't say impossible. It's just not easy when you have no heals. I can kite these guys around and shit, but. Are just over here clobbering me. No. Ah, got me. I failed. I failed. Uh. So yeah, I mean, like you know, playing a, a, a one that's you know level that's around your range, it is just so incredibly hard to do, especially if you don't have heals. Now, if you have heals and you're like a quantum fixer, maybe that works. Or if you got like a just a massive stockpile of of um health potions which i probably should have got like 50 or something but yeah have i tried nine heroes yeah it's great man uh i was one of the first people to stream nine heroes i'm always ahead of the curve agents i don't know if you if you realize that but like every time you see people like hyping a game you're like oh my god this game's so bad because it's just launched i probably already played it a month ago and no one was watching because it's brand new and there was no hype and they weren't talking about an airdrop or tokens or if they were i was the only one talking about it and now you know you see people everyone's talking about nine heroes and i'm like yeah man i've, I've been playing it you know which is kind of funny so all right back to town well actually we're just cross i'm just probably gonna just stay here for now no we gotta go back to town Yeah, but it's a cool game. If you like, if you like uh, like Overwatch style games, it's actually you know it's it's pretty good. It's still in you know early access and so or, or early development, so there are definitely some things that work out. Matchmaking, in my opinion, is one of the biggest things. The matchmaking can be imbalanced a lot, like where you'll get teams where there's like five versus three, and I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> Birds, bees, and trees. What's going on? Well, we've just had other utter defeat here in big time because we just learned that you really can't solo anymore. Uh, not really super effectively. I used to be able to go in like lower level dungeons and just, you know, casually get some loot. Nothing crazy. Casually get some EXP. Nothing great. But uh, now we can't do that at all. And then now we're having we're having issues with the stream too, which I don't know if it's the internet or this game or what's up, but something is going on. Get a lot of frames dropped. A lot of things happening. And I'm not sure what's up, man. We're not even we're, we're we're not even maxed out on GPU or CPU at all. It's like fifty percent. No communication tools. Yeah, I can see that. All right, agents. That's that's it for today. That's it. We're you know mission. Uh, today we kind of looked a little bit more at some of the finer details. We looked at the marketplace. We talked about the token. We jumped in and, you know, I wasn't really feeling doing a bunch of group play, but you can see right now, like, you really have to. They're, they've made it now impossible pretty much to do any kind of real solo, meaningful solo play. 
They want you to have to group up. They want you. They want to. And, and like, I understand that's the case, but it does make me sad. There are times where like, I don't want to have to grind and min max everything. Right. I love playing with people like Lord Misfit and Jimmy and, and custom and, and uh, you know, some of the other people we've played with, but sometimes it's good to just be able to do some things on your own. And big time is really, I think, uh, you know, looking to discourage that, which I don't like. That makes me kind of sad because I think that they don't make as much money with solo with people who are doing solo play. And, and uh, I think that's something that we could definitely look at adjusting, right? Uh, hopefully they look at that with some, uh, like one of the bigger updates coming up, right? When we get a new town and maybe hopefully guild features and maybe PVP, I would like to see it, you know, not like, I know it is a multiplayer game, but like not have the hundred percent focus on like, Everything is about buying high-level items or renting high-level items and having to be in a group that's min-maxing. Otherwise, you can't really even play the game. So, a little disappointing. But, hey, man, we'll be back again next week. We'll be grouping up. We'll do some prestige stuff. I just didn't get time to, like, you know, organize, uh, uh, you know, some big groups like I normally do today. So, we're doing a little bit of a shorter stream. And bird, bees, and trees, man, you, you just barely got here at the end. <laughs> you just, you're just barely catching the end here. But I appreciate you, agents. Much love. But that is mission complete for today. Thanks for jumping on uh, for Big Time Wednesday, and congratulations uh, to to <laughs> to uh, noob. Always stay together, noob. That was the winner for today. <laughs> he was the winner for today with a, a rare small space NFT, and we'll be back again next Wednesday for Big Time Wednesdays. Doing it again, giving doing another giveaway, and we'll have some big groups and bi and some prestige play for you guys to check out next week. And hopefully next week will be the time. I finally get my first NFT, pop the collars, going in, making those dollars. <sighs> all right, it's well, that's all we have for today. As always, this briefing never happened. Secret Agent Stash, over and out.